So I'm doing testing Windows 8 here in portrait mode, which I think is important to test. It's one of the ways that tablets are used a lot because of the ability to to thumb keyboards uh, down at the bottom. Now this is a 1366 by 768, 11.6 inch uh, screen, uh, which means in, in this mode it's extremely uh, difficult to use the keyboard unless you go for the split keyboard option. Um, but as devices get lighter, it will be nicer to have the keyboard um, in a portrait mode so that most of the content is shown above the keyboard rather than the keyboard being split across what is, could be a third of the screen. Uh, the problem is here that uh, uh, Windows 8 uh, Metro UI isn't really designed for portrait, although, uh, sorry, let me just flick through some, some pages here. Oops. Uh, well, th there, there, there's an example trying to update uh, an app in portrait mode here. My content is just... <laughs> Basically, it's been it's squashed in uh, on the right, and I can't really see what I've what I've written in this column. Uh, the split keyboard uh, works quite nicely, though, and as you can see, it only takes up maybe 20% of the screen. Whereas if it was in uh, landscape mode, it would be taking up about 30% of the screen. Um, so let's uh, go through a few more uh, apps. Uh, so it's good to start. Um, actually, I don't know if you know this, but that. Uh, Whoops, slide in from the right feature is quite neat. Uh, if you slide in from the right, every time you go out and in again, it changes the, the app, so you can choose the app. So what do I want? I want to go to uh, my desktop, and just flick through, whoops, till I find the <laughs> desktop, and then I can bring that up. Uh, remember in uh, 768 wide, you can't actually place uh, apps uh, to the left hand or the right hand side because you need a 1366 width to do that. Um, so let's have a quick look at some of the apps. Here's, um, um, let me just go back to the home page on this one. The headlines app um, looks quite nice in, in, in this mode. Um, although you would kind of expect to be able to scroll up and down in portrait mode, but you, you're, you're stuck with left, right. The content isn't uh, optimized though. Uh, I can't zoom in and in a default setting, Part of that second column is is missing. Uh, doesn't snap to a column. Doesn't snap to a page. I have to really mess around left to right. I can't double click to to get stuff. I can't zoom. Uh, just so many things missing uh, here on, on this. Um, let's go back to uh, another app. Let's have a look at the uh, Socialize app. Uh, where are we? I think this is probably Socialize app. Go back to the home page on this one. Again, just not really nicely optimized uh, and it doesn't snap to uh, any sort of position to give you a nice uh, single column or dual column view. Looking at my profile then, as I showed you before, really not optimized for portrait mode at all. Uh, let's look at the control panel. Um, that seems to, to work quite nicely. Um, if we go to settings here, um, control system access. Um, let's try and get back to. Uh, where do I go? Just try and get back to the uh, the menu here on the person on the on the control panel panel. Maybe that's uh, another thing that's a that's a problem. So one uh, one last thing then. Let's just show you. Uh, quick uh, keyboard uh, input. Um, now I want to go to uh, this and uh, let's see what we can do. This uh, is a quick, oops, so without any haptic feedback here um, I'm finding it a little bit difficult. Split keyboards uh, can sometimes be good when it's a physical keyboard. You can feel your way around, you can actually do it blind. Uh, and concentrate on the content up here but when you've got a non-physical keyboard you tend to look uh, which mean, means in, in landscape mode left right this doesn't auto rotate by the way uh, you get a really horrible experience where your eyes are darting left to right and you can never get to a point where you can just feel your way around the keyboard as you can with uh, with a physical split keyboard um, word prediction uh, window oh it was supposed to be Windows, it came up with Einstein, Windows, insert, 
um, is an uh, acceptable insert. So you get some word predictions there. It kind of works nicely. As devices get lighter, uh, this will be an interesting, uh, a better way, I think, portrait mode to use Windows 8 as a, as a tablet. Problem is, the apps and the UI does need to, uh, the optimization needs to change dramatically. Obviously, auto rotate would be good here as well. So let me just flick that back to, to landscape. So I just want to show you the uh, input. That's how it's supposed to look. So you've got a nice right hand column. I mean, seriously, it's not optimized at all for the amount of space you've got on this screen. Uh, there could be so much more. I could have a couple of columns here. This could be moved in. Um, although when you bring in another application, it still fits quite nicely. Yeah. Uh, let's update that then. Now this is what I mean. This is what I mean about the split keyboard. They've used the full keyboard space. Let's just take, put it onto full keyboard. They've used the full keyboard space, which is about 50% of the screen, uh, and squashed up the. Um, uh, rightly so, they've actually moved the thumb area. Into, a, into the correct position. There's no transparency, so you can't see what's behind the keyboard. You're losing about 50% of the screen there. It's really, really bad when you think the amount of pixels on this screen, and all I'm seeing is, you know, one, two, three, about 10 words, and probably, uh, you know, the overview here as well. It's uh, really, really badly optimized for in that respect. Um, and then I mentioned, you know, Although the split screen is quite nice, the split keyboard is quite nice, access for your thumbs, your eyes are moving left to right, left to right, left to right, and it's very, very uh, off-putting. A physical keyboard allows you to actually feel your way around the keyboard without looking at the keyboard itself. So, some serious uh, issues there that need to be sorted out in, in Metro. On um, this device, I'm having problems with the uh, tap, sorry, right click, so I can't adjust certain things. Um, I do like this, you know, bringing stuff in. Um, I love the split, split screen. Uh, I love that you can move it, I think, to two thirds. So, oh, yeah, you can bring stuff in to the right as well. He says, trying, there you go. That's all very nice, but still loads and loads of things to think about. So this is uh, Chippy from uh, carrypad.com and uh, ultrabooknews.com, umpcportal.com and <laughs> Meet Mobility. Thanks for watching.